Welcome to Book It, a mini review of a hot new book title for your middle school readers. I'm your host, Joe Pizzo. Today's featured book is Between Monsters and Marvels by Alyssa Wishingrad, published in 2023. Since she believes 8 to 13 year olds are some of the smartest, most open, and inquisitive people around, she's therefore dedicated to writing stories that help them to question their world, to question their place in it, and to hold on to the magic and power of inquiry as they grow up. Let's look at the book's inside cover for a brief summary of the storyline. Monsters are still lurking on the island of Barrows Bay. Dare Coates is sure of it. No drifter or ruffian could have killed her father, the captain of the guard, while he was on patrol. But everyone insists that monsters have been gone for years now. Dare's mother, her classmates, even the governor who swiftly marries Dare's mother just months after her father's death. Dare's suspicions grow even stronger when the governor suddenly ships her off to the mainland, away from any hope of uncovering the truth about her father's death. Or so she thinks. Soon Dare finds solid proof that monsters still exist, and she starts to question everything she's always known. Was her father who she thought he was? Who can she trust? Where is the line between good and evil? The truth hides behind danger and deception. But with the help of an unlikely crew of cohorts and a stray beastie, nothing can stop Dare from finding out what happened to her father and exposing who the real monsters are. Alyssa Wishingrad's ability to capture her readers with vivid descriptions and haunting suspense is evident right from the start of the first page of her book. Just give a listen. Chapter One, An Awful Girl. Dare Coates was an awful girl. Everyone on Barrows Bay said so. The adults hiding behind satin-gloved hands whispered it through tight-lipped sneers. But the children said it out loud. Every chance they got. On the streets. In class. And they were saying it now as Dare stalked out of the schoolhouse. She didn't even want to be in that pathetic Founder's Day pageant, let alone play the monster. But then... She'd be condemned to repeating the entire year's lessons under the school marm's tutelage. There was awful, and then there was the unbearable. Dare tried to lose Frances Cooper and the rest of the class as they trailed after her, slinging taunts and teases all the way through the center of town. She wound past the shops, around the gazebo on the village green, and even into the middle of the street hoping to ditch them among the passing carriages and wagons. And still she made no effort to conceal that her stockings were torn, her hair a tangle of knots, and the left sleeve of her favorite dress was ripped wide open. Instead, she kept her gaze pegged dead ahead and her upper lip fixed in a snarl, a warning to passers-by to steer clear. It had always been easy enough to ignore them when they teased her that her hair wasn't done in the latest style, for rescuing a spider from a certain death at the hands of one of the boys, or for having no shame about speaking her mind. In fact, she went out of her way to be a walking affront to everything the good people of Barrows Bay valued. Beauty, conformity, and the sparkle of wealth. She was happy to be a thorn bush among the lilies, for even the sharpest thorns serve a purpose. They're a warning, protection, a defense, and Dare was more than content to shine every one of her points and angles until they gleamed. Kirkus Reviews calls Between Monsters and Marvels, quote, a quirky examination of true monstrousness with a memorable protagonist, unquote. Goodreads observes that, quote, 
Between Monsters and Marbles is another intelligent and inventive fantasy from Melissa Wishingrad, who excels at richly imagined worlds where everything is not as it seems on the surface. Dare is a hero worth rooting for, and the pace will keep readers engaged from beginning to end, unquote. Publishers Weekly notes that Wishing Grad's, quote, bouncy prose builds toward an engaging and optimistic exploration of how power and privilege can be wielded for both good and bad. As observed by one take charge heroine who seeks to define her place in the world. Unquote. Between Monsters and Marbles is a tale that the author of Long Lost, Jacqueline West, sees as, quote, a twisty, crafty, creepy tale with a wonderfully warm heart. Unquote. So, for a book that features a quirky, edgy main character, who begins to question everything she knows between Monsters and Marvels by Alyssa Wishingrad is a wonderful choice. For Book It, a mini review of a hot new book title for your middle school readers, I'm your host Joe Pizzo. Have a wonderful day.